Welcome back to my latest pool breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. To make sure you drop a like and a subscribe if you would. If you're not already subscribed, you gotta subscribe. I mean, you got videos coming every day with tips and tricks. Can't watch one of these every day and tell me you're not learning something. Um, and then comment down below because I need, I need your support and your uh, advice as well. So here, I just gotta hit the one wall in and just kind of draw into the stack. I guess my only hope here was that I break them up a little bit and maybe leave myself for the five ball if it's conducive. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Five ball got out of the way, but yeah. So that opened things up a little bit here. The nine ball on the side. <clears throat> and then I want to just roll it forward for the three. If I didn't get perfect on it, then I just hit the four in probably instead. But figured. I can get this three out of the way, it's, it opens up everything, so. Um, and all the balls can go in a pocket. If I get to the other side of those two balls that are kind of clustered there. Um, get that one out of the way too, right away, since it's straight in. I think that one quite goes. Just think about whatever the ball that is, the eight ball maybe. <clears throat> this actually works out better. So I just roll this one forward for that rail shot. And This one in and just leave it right there. I'll have a side pocket for either of those other two balls there. Okay, come off the rail a couple inches. And can't tell what balls those are. Is that the two and the six or the eight and the two? I don't know. But the one closest to us I decided to go with because um, if I just hit it soft, I can just leave it there for the other one next to it. And if I get stuck behind the stripe at all there, I can uh, still get the five as an insurance ball. Now this ends up actually getting kind of tricky because now my five ball is just blocking the pocket for that uh, striped one. weird but I figure I'm just gonna slow roll this one actually hit that too hard because yeah. but managed to get get right on the red one there So that's a pretty easy shot. Uh, only question is how I'm going to deal with these last two. The hardest part, of course, is getting on that, getting on that green striped one because um, yeah, hitting everything too hard here it seems like cue balls just like going crazy. 
So yeah, um, yeah, this one's kind of tricky. So yeah, I decide to go with top with just a tiny bit of left. Um, it seems like every time I use too much left English, it just scratches on the side. And go, 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 go. Yeah, I didn't quite get there. I was kind of surprised. I mean, I have a shot here. It looks better than it is from this angle. From this angle, it looks like it's an easy cut shot, but it's actually... It's actually a serious amount of cut here. But I was fed up, so I was like, I'm going to make this because... Took me like a million tries to run all the balls out. Not as easy as it looks, folks. Not as easy as it looks. I don't know if it's easier or harder on an eight foot table versus this is a nine foot table, but good thing about a nine foot table obviously is the more spread out, but you also have to hit longer shots. I'm gonna use draw to try to avoid the pocket, and I just barely do. All right, there we go.